Welcome to Nest. This video will show you how to install the wired version of the Nest Protect smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. To install Nest Protect, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. A pencil and tape measure will also be helpful. Electrical wiring and alarm installation regulations may vary between countries and regions, so check them before you begin. For instance, you may need an additional enclosure to insulate the terminal blocks. You may also need sleeves or a junction box to insulate the wires. You'll also be working with mains voltage, so safety is important. If you don't feel comfortable working with mains wiring, contact a Nest Pro installer in your area. Before you start, turn the power off at the fuse box or remove the fuse. If you're replacing an existing alarm, make sure its power light is off so you're certain that you switched off the right fuse. It can take a few minutes for the light to turn off on some alarms. If you're installing Nest Protect where there wasn't a smoke alarm before, refer to the user guide. It has guidelines about where to install it. Make sure it's at least three meters or 10 feet away from cooking appliances. If you're replacing an old smoke alarm, you can probably install Nest Protect in the same place. However, it should be at least 30 centimeters away from the wall. Remove your old smoke alarm if you have one. You may have to remove a pin to twist it off. As wiring colors can vary, especially in older buildings, use your phone to take a picture of the wires. This will help later when you connect your Nest Protect. Disconnect all the wires from the alarm and remove the back plate. Wipe away any dust with a damp cloth so that it doesn't get into your Nest Protect. Your old alarm may have an interconnect wire. Nest Protects interconnect wirelessly, so they won't use it to communicate. If you are keeping some of your current alarms, they won't be able to connect to Nest Protect, but they still need to communicate with each other. Put the interconnect wire into its own terminal block. Then put the earth wire into a terminal block. If you are replacing all your alarms with Nest Protects, connect the interconnect wire to earth. Next, you'll connect the Nest 230 volt connector to the rest of the wires. Connect the live wires together in a terminal block. Live wires can be brown, red, or marked with an L. Do the same with the neutral wires. They can be blue, black, or marked with an N. Now you're ready to install the Nest backplate. If you are installing on a back box, attach it with the screws from your old alarm. If you're installing directly onto the ceiling or wall, use the Nest screws included with Nest Protect. There's no need to drill holes. The Nest screws are designed to go right into plaster and other materials. Plug the connector into the back of your Nest Protect and tuck away the wires. To attach your Nest Protect, hold it against the back plate and turn it clockwise until it grips. You can then adjust it to line up with the wall or ceiling. Once you've finished installing all your Nest Protects, Turn the mains power back on. Now it's time to test. Press the button on a Nest Protect twice to test it. Nest Protect will check its sensors, power, and Wi-Fi connection and activate its emergency siren, speaker, and lights. Ready in the bedroom. Press to test. When the test begins, your Nest Protect will speak up and give you instructions. It will also give you a countdown so that you have time to move away from the loud alarm. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. If you have more than one Nest Protect, they should all speak up so that you know they're connected to each other. Make sure that each one sounds the alarm and lights up. That's it. To learn more about Nest Protect installation and setup, go to our support site.